Hello, this is a review of the Klipsch Synergy F30 loudspeaker system. A uh, short while ago I was in the market for new speakers and for my home theater system and I was looking for a speaker that had a good uh, frequency response, dynamic range and efficiency and I didn't want to have to pay an arm and a leg for it. And uh, I came upon these Klipsch F30 loudspeakers, floor standing speakers. And uh, if you're not familiar with Klipsch, Klipsch was started in 1946 by Paul W. Klipsch. And he, <coughs> excuse me, he was a music lover. And he wanted to have speakers in his home to listen to music, but he was unsatisfied with the loudspeakers that were available at the time. So he decided to build his own. So he rented a shed in somebody's backyard and he started working on his speaker and he made several models and prototypes and what he came up with was a large horn loaded speaker called the Klipsch horn. And this Klipsch horn had wide dynamic range, frequency response and efficiency and it was probably one of the best speakers available at the time. And from then on Klipsch has been at the forefront of uh, speaker design and They've been a very popular speaker all over the world, and they're also installed professionally, like in many theater systems and so forth. Uh, incidentally, the Klipschhorn is still available, although it's very expensive. They're about $8,000 a pair right now. And I used to own a pair back in the day, and I can tell you they are fantastic speakers, and I recommend you listen to them if you get a chance. Now to go on to the F30. The F30 is a floor standing speaker with a horn loaded tweeter and with two 8 inch woofers with a front mounted port. Uh, it also has uh, dual binding ports so you can, you can, uh, binding posts, excuse me, so you can bi wire it or bi amp it, bi amp it. And it has a front firing port so if you put it closer to the back wall, it won't, you know, block out the sound. Although they recommend, I believe they recommend that it should be at least a foot away from a wall. Uh, and these speakers do feature high efficiency, wide dynamic range, controlled directivity, and flat frequency response. Some of the specifications are uh, frequency response 35 hertz to 23 kilohertz plus minus 3 dB, power handling of 150 watts RMS, 600 watts peak and sensitivity 97.5 dv at 2.83 volts at one meter and they're compatible with eight ohms compatible with eight ohms means that even a low powered receiver should have no problem driving these speakers and with that high efficiency you're going to be able to play them loud even if you don't have a lot of power so basically any receiver will be able to drive these speakers there's no problem there um, the woofers are made out of IMG, which is, I believe, a type of plastic. And uh, some specifications with size. The height is 42 inches, width 9.5 inches, depth 16 inches, weight 60 pounds. And the finish is black ash vinyl. Now, uh, I use these speakers in my home theater system, and I use them for two-channel music listening. And uh, I find to be very, find to be very, uh, Good sounding speakers. Uh, they have a good frequency response to them. The bass is uh, tight and controlled bass. It's not boomy or exaggerated. It's an accurate bass response. And the high end is pretty crisp and natural sounding. And the mid-range is clear. Um, I paid about $200 a piece for these speakers. I got them at Newegg. And uh, Amazon also has them now for about $200 a piece. Uh, it doesn't really pay for me to play these uh, because whatever you're listening to on, it's not going to sound the same as listening to these in person. Plus, because of copyright issues, I don't want to play them, play any music. But uh, you could go down to any place that sells clips and they might have some of these in stock that you can listen to. Or you could go to Best Buy and I believe that they have speakers similar to this there that you could listen to. Um, I recommend listen to any speaker before you buy it because it's up to you whether you like the sound or not. I mean, I like the sound. I think they sound great, but you know, it's, it's totally up to you the type of sound that you want to get. But I do highly recommend these speakers. Uh, 200 bucks a piece, in my opinion, is a very good buy. 
you're getting a good sound, an efficient speaker, uh, a nice looking speaker. They're not, uh, you know, really ugly looking or anything like that. So if you're a married guy and you got to, you know, have a wife acceptance factor, I don't think your wife would be too pissed off if you put these in the living room or whatever. So um, if you're looking for some good sounding, modern looking speakers with high efficiency, good frequency response and so forth, I recommend you check out these Klipsch F30 speakers. And uh, as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching my videos.